time, Dreedy. So uh, my name is Sabrina Jandu, and um, I'm 24 years old. All right, start, please. And I'm um, from British Guyana, South America. When I when I was in Guyana, unfortunately, I didn't have the opportunity to go farther right, in school. Next story, Glory. I couldn't do. I only could spell my name. I was three when my mother left for Canada, and and I didn't know anything about her. I was pretty much um, I was pretty much on my own. Hi, can I help you? It's okay, I'm just looking. Okay. I came to Canada because my mom sponsored us, me and my brother, um, five years ago. And first, I didn't know what to expect. I feel really lost. I'm not sure what to get. <laughs> I feel I was in a country and everybody could read and I just sit there, lost. When I first came to Canada, it was, I came in October and it was December, so my mom decided to take me in Toronto to see my cousin them, and they born over here, so I never met them. And I could remember all of, like every Christmas Eve night, they sit together as a family and they sing Christmas carol. And they're telling me to sing, give me a paper to read, and they don't know that I don't know to read because I didn't tell them anything. And then mom, I come home and I said, I don't want to go back. From that day, I know that I had to go to school. So in January, my mom, I don't know where she found about the um, Gateway to Learning, and she registered me and my brother. I would work from there. I was very determined. I was very excited. I was over warm. I was, I wasn't, I was so happy. Like that was a time in my life that I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going back to school. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't care how old I was. I didn't care how the people in the class or anything. I was so focused, I was so excited. I was so, wanted to get it right, all of it right at the same time, <laughs> even though I didn't understand. And I just, I was excited for me. I was thrilled, I was just happy that I did it and I'm gonna continue to do it. <laughs> because there's a contrast, right? And you remember just in it is hard. Sometimes it's hard, but I just try. I try my best. That's all I could do. I try my best. So you would use one of these transitions to join them? Mm -hmm. Because the story, the fights, Just understanding what I read, and I feel like I could I fit in more into the culture. Because everybody have a paper around them, and here I am sitting. I could read now, and I could fill out job applications. I could do um, even my um, land, my citizenship. I have to fill in the form out myself and read all the paper that they sent to me. <laughs> and my G1, I went and get it. So I read the book. Yeah, I did a lot of stuff. Give me the best smile you got, eh? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Woo. I was three when my mother left for Canada. So I didn't um, have a relationship with my mom. I didn't know what she looked like, and I didn't know anything about her. And you can put the wrong, your arm around Sabrina. But I get to know her now that I'm in Canada after five years. But it's amazing to get to know her before time passes so by. When I first came to Canada, I always wanted to be an accountant or work in a bank. But then I live next to the Civic Hospital, so definitely I want to be in healthcare, probably. And I love cooking, so maybe somewhere in the kitchen. <laughs> but an accountant, definitely, or a flight attendant. I'm working with those.